My name is Eunice Otuko Apio. I'm a member of parliament from Uganda. I've worked in the field of conflict sexual violence for years, and especially concentrating on um, the case of children born of conflict-related sexual violence. I'm here at the U.S. Institute of Peace, uh, specifically to advance the cause of children born of war. Children born of war, or children associated more broadly with conflict-related sexual violence, I have not been part of the broader agenda of peace building internationally for a long time. It took years for um, even the parents themselves to start to begin to talk about this challenge. It took years for the communities to begin to, to open their ears, its ears, you know, to listen to the, to the women, to the children who were coming with children themselves, you know, the, the young mothers, the first wives communities or societies simply didn't have any, 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 any consideration within the available space to deal with the, the massive um, problem that we had at hand at that time. We've had a lot of um, efforts at evidence gathering, you know, by researchers all over, academic researchers, but also non-academic practitioners trying to put together the evidence base, but a lot of it is actually qualitative in nature. It's important that we look at the magnitude as well, the scope of the problem. I think it's important that for peace building, we put each and every face into perspective. We want to know the numbers. We know them in millions or thousands, but who are they? Because if they're talking about rights, if you're talking about accountability, every individual deserves to have that. The transitional justice policy in my country, which is not yet in effect, puts more than 60% of the responsibility to address the human rights violations and crimes, uh, war crimes on the traditional leadership, unprecedented bearing in mind the level of complexities associated with the LRA war. I think that was ill-advised. More so because the women and children are kind of excluded always within these spaces of traditional you know, justice system. There's very little. We've talked a lot about, as, as, a, as a world, about traditional justice mechanisms. But there's very little that has happened within those spaces to change, um, um, you know, to change it, to kind of help women, uh, to urge women to be part of the decision making uh, process. So women and children are not part of that. And here we are talking about women as peace builders. It should start with that. And that's why for me I say that I think I, I would say that some of these broad frameworks that we're talking about, transitional justice, some of them are dead on arrival because the people who matter most, the women, the children, do not have the space within which they can you know, they can explore how to contribute to peace building and, and benefit from it too. Mm -hmm.